here at the Kelowna Rail Trail Homeless Tent Camp. I miss him a lot. This winter has been harsh for Genevieve Begbie. Her partner Norm died in a tent here late last year. And he was, he was really loved down here and I really miss him a lot. And I really wish that, you know, stuff like this doesn't happen to people. He just, he gave up. He literally gave up. And I kept telling him every day, don't give up. But this is why we need more support down here. Because him taking his life because he felt like he had nothing. And like he wasn't going anywhere in life. We need more support down here. Now, just across the street, a tiny opening of hope. We believe that Step Place will be a place for healing and progress, a step on the path forward. The provincial government and city of Kelowna unveiled a 60-unit tiny home site for people who are homeless. Clients are expected to move here in about two weeks, each getting their very own 60-square-foot heated and cooled, powered and private unit. It's just the size of a shed, but with their own bed, desk and storage. Stoves? Stoves. Kitchen, washroom and social service facilities are shared. That's important, social workers say, because part of the plan is to create community as clients receive addiction and mental health supports. It's not the province's first tiny homes project. Sites are up and running on Vancouver Island and plans are underway for a government project in Prince George. What's remarkable here, government officials say, was the speed of construction. The city of Kelowna pitched the plan just a little over four months ago. And that's the kind of change we want to see in communities throughout British Columbia. Kelowna has shown uh, real leadership when it comes to uh, not only uh, approving but also helping fast track this type of housing. The province and BC housing are spending 5.4 million dollars here all part of a new transitional housing program to take people from shelters into permanent homes but Genevieve worries that excludes many living on the rail trail many here avoid shelters but after five years on the streets and the difficulty of grieving her partner Genevieve is ready to move out of this tent yes I applied and I have not gotten um, my interview yet I applied to be in the little houses, but nothing yet, so still waiting. Waiting for a home and a chance to heal. Tom Popic, CBC News, Kelowna.